Hey guys, it's Hello Alice here with another Palettful Packs unboxing, and this time it is for the August box. I am super excited, so let's go ahead and open it up and see everything that is inside. <gasps> And it's blue this time. Um, so let's let's dive right in. So I have my little postcard for the August box on my phone, and it says the August box is um, Q O R or Core. I just read down, and it says that Core watercolor. So oh my gosh, watercolor is my thing. So I am excited for watercolor box. So. Um, first thing, when I open it up, there's some tissue paper protecting things. Um, and then we have, it's a board and it's painted. Um, and on the back it says, uh, Core Watercolor Ground. Um, so I've actually heard of watercolor ground and basically you can paint it on things and then you can use that thing to paint watercolor on like you would watercolor paper. But I'll read what it says on the back of this. It says, creates an absorbent surface that allows for soft edges and flowing wet and wet techniques. Maybe brush applied for a linen-like texture, rolled on for a dappled effect, or scraped on smoothly with a palette knife. May also be lightly wet sanded for smoothness similar to a hot press surface. May be applied to many different materials including canvas and panel. So this is super exciting. I've never actually had the chance to try watercolor ground myself so I'm really excited to try this out. Let's see, what is next in this box? Ooh, I see a palette. I love me some watercolor palettes. So this is a Pro Art Folding Palette Box. This sturdy white plastic palette folds and locks for travel or storage. Um, so this is great. Gives you something to put the paints in. So the next thing I see in the box is these two brushes. Super exciting. I love brushes. It looks like there is a small one and a larger one. So let's read what the po postcard has to say about these two brushes. So the small one it looks like is a Kalinsky Red Sable. So it says... So you also want the finest watercolor hair? We've got you covered. The Kalinsky Sable is traditionally considered one of, if not the best, hair for watercolor. Expertly shaped, this detail brush is unmatched in its spring resiliency color and water carrying capacity and its ability to hold a point. Um, and that is so true, like Kalinsky Sable is generally considered one of the best um, uh, fibers, hairs, whatever, for um, watercolor brushes. So that's awesome, they sent a Kalinsky brush. And then the second one is a Princeton Snap Golden Taclon Round, um, and this is in a size six. Um, and it says the Snap is a high quality brush from Princeton Brush. Admittedly, it's not a Kalinsky, but the synthetic Golden Taclon, like in the Snap Brush, also works very well for watercolor. So they've sent one natural hair brush and one synthetic brush. So the next thing that I see is super exciting, and that is actual watercolor paint. Hooray! So. Obviously these are the core watercolors because that is the whole box. So let me grab all of these. There are four colors that you get. Um, and these are each five milliliters. And the colors that you get are Anacredone Magenta, Ultramarine Blue, Nickel Azo Yellow, and Green Gold. Oh, Green Gold is one of my favorite colors. So it says, for this month's box, we went with one of the highest quality watercolor brands on the market. Core watercolors feature a unique brine dye aquazol that supports greater pigment loading than traditional watercolor binders. This allows core this allows core watercolors to provide more pigment strength and vivid depth of color in every brush stroke. The vibrant, intense colors flow well, producing incredibly smooth transitions and stay brilliant even after they dry. So awesome! I'm super excited. I've never tried Core Watercolors either. That is a brand I haven't tried, so I'm excited to try it. And then there is one last thing in the box, and it looks like it is a board. Yes, it is the 500 Series Strathmore Mixed Media Board. The 500 Series is Strathmore's highest quality of paper and board products. This premium mixed media board is made of 100% cotton and offers true wet media performance with a drawing finish. So very cool, cotton is great for watercolor. I always try to use 100% cotton paper if possible and I've never tried out this board so I'm super super jazzed to try that out as well. So that is everything that is in my box. I'm going to jump on over to my desk and make some art with it now. I'm super excited to try all these supplies out. So if you want to see some art and how I use these supplies, then come on with me and let's get started. 
So obviously the first thing that I had to do when I opened my supplies was fill up this plastic palette with the four paint colors that the box came with. And I really loved the colors that it came with. They all felt really natural in a way and they were all really inspiring to me. Um, and I decided to use them to paint a couple little succulent slash cacti um, plants. And I decided to paint them on the board with the watercolor ground because I was really excited to try that out. Out. I've never tried watercolor ground before but I've heard about it um, I've seen it in the stores so I thought it was really cool that palette packs um, hand painted this watercolor ground board and sent it out so that we could try it I thought that was a really unique way of being able to try that new medium so I sketched out my little succulents and my cacti and I used the large brush and mixed up a green color using the green and the yellow hues and then added a little bit of blue for the shading and for the other succulent and one of the things I was really interested in when painting these little plants was how the paint mixed and how it dried um, the back of the canvas um, with the ground on it had mentioned that um, the paint often had a really beautiful wet on wet effect with the ground and that you could get really interesting textural effects so I really wanted to see if that was true and my expectations were definitely met I was able to get some really cool and interesting blending effects with this um, the colors kind of soaked into one another in a really unique way and when they dried um, I got really really beautiful granulation with these paints on this ground um, and if you don't know what granulation is basically when the paint dries it will slightly separate in the pigments and certain pigments will settle into the crevices of the paper so the rougher the paper is or the rougher the surface that you're painting on the more noticeable the granulation will likely be um, and it creates a really beautiful modeled effect um, that I personally adore and I thought these paints granulated really really wonderfully um, and I guess that transitions me from talking about the ground into the paints and these paints were such a joy to work with they really were they blended so nicely um, together and they were so vibrant and easy to make colors I definitely personally I'm definitely gonna be trying more of these paints um, that's just me personally I really really enjoyed working with them I'm excited to work with them some more um, and then yeah I just filled in the bottom of the succulents with the little um, with the number six brush as well and I painted these cute little geometric pots and I used more of the pink and the blue um, for the pots the smaller brush the um, a Kalinsky Sable brush was also really lovely to work with. Um, I haven't really talked about either of the brushes yet actually so um, the small brush I used to add in some details onto the leaves I also used it later on to sign my name and add in some details to the cactus um, and it was really really nice and easy to work with. It was really great to be able to get really fine lines. Um, I personally think that they sent two really well paired brushes. Um, the synthetic brush it was really nice it was really nice to work with number six brushes are generally my favorite brush I think they're very versatile um, and you can I could get really fine points but I could also lay down paint really easily with this um, and it held paint really nicely it held its shape really well and so did the small brush um, it held its shape beautifully and it sprang back really nicely as well so I was very impressed with the quality of the brushes as well um, I decided to finish off this little cactus with a little bit of white gel pen later that was my own white gel pen just to add in the little white spikes and that is what I created with the supplies from this month's palette packs. Um, I really 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 loved these supplies I thought they were all really nice quality um, so I really hope that you guys like them as well um, and I am really excited to see what everyone else creates when they get this box and I also can't wait to play around with these supplies even more and I definitely am going to go look into this ground because it was extremely fun to work with. So that is it. I hope you liked this unboxing and demonstration of the supplies in the Palletful Packs August box. If you are interested in signing up for Palletful Packs, the links will be in the description box below as always. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Palletful Packs channel to keep up with all of their content and I will see you guys next month. Bye!